Hi guys, and welcome to another C64 Sunday. I'm Zerfall, and today we're going to be playing game number 87, Midnight Resistance. I'm going to get this loading because it's got to load off a of tape, and it's going to take a while. Um, it's not too bad for the first level, but whenever you restart the, uh, the game after dying, oh, it takes a long time to load. Um, so Midnight Resistance was a game that was originally in the arcades, it was ported to many systems. It came out uh, for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, um, ZX Spectrum, Amstram CPC, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, and the Atari ST. Original re release date was 1989. This version of the game came out in 1990. It was published by Ocean. Uh, the music was done by Keith Tinman. The programming was done by Robert W. Tinman, so it seems like a family affair. And the graphics were done by Ivan Davies. And listen to that music. Um, the Sega Genesis version of this game was published by Data East, who actually made a lot of my uh, a lot of my favorite games to play. Um, and it's you know it's a typical run and gun game, very similar to Contra, uh, Atari Warriors. In the arcade, it had an Atari Warriors style joystick. Um, that you could rotate the joystick to rotate where you were firing, which would actually be really helpful because as you can see here, I have to rotate, and as I do, my guy actually spins his gun around. I mean, I guess that's realistic, but it's really annoying when you're trying to shoot a guy behind you if you can't turn around fast enough. Now, um, this game, I believe, has an 8.31, similar to a couple other games that have come out uh, recently for this uh, Commodore 64 Sunday series. Oh man, that was a lucky dodge. Oh no! Oh man, I'm just getting lucky here. We're coming up to our first boss here. Now we see all those keys on the left. If we walked around a little more, I don't think we can walk backwards. But if we walked a little slower and made sure we fought enough guys, the more keys you get, the better off you are because you can use them to buy power-ups at the end. Now. This is a dystopian future, and we're part of the resistance, and we're gonna get screwed over by the first shots out of this gun. Oh no, I didn't for once. Um, there's an evil scientist that works for whoever's running this dystopian future, I suppose, and he has kidnapped our family. Why did he kidnap our family? I have no clue, actually. But our job is clearly to go and rescue our family. Now, you see I'm shooting up to the right here. There's a guy here right away. We can sort of cheap out there. Every time you get to the end of a level, you can buy upgrades once you get through whatever exit there is for that level. There's, I think, nine levels to be played, and in the second last level, you got to pick up, um, try to get all six keys, because you're going to be, um, what am I going to get here? All right, we don't have the best choices here. We're going to get, we're going to grab this three-way. We're gonna grab this S charge. And we're gonna grab the extra bullets. All right, let's go. Um, so in the second last level, you get as many keys as possible. And at the end of the game, uh, right before the last stage, you save your family. So you, the more keys you have, the more um, family members you can save. And the ending is actually affected by how many uh, keys you have and how many family members you choose to rescue. So it's one of the earlier games with uh, multiple endings, I suppose. I guess the 90, 1990 wasn't that late, or wasn't that early, but uh, multiple endings. Um, Zap gave this, like Zap64 gave this uh, game a 90. It was pretty well uh, pretty well loved by the critics, critics and whatnot. Um, and I mean, the controls are pretty good for, for what it is. Unfortunately, uh, it would have been, since it's a one-player game, it would have been neat, actually, if they used both joysticks and made it so you could control which way you were firing with one and which way you were walking with the other. Because that's how it worked in the arcade. You could still walk to the right while you were going to the left. And, oh, come on, I killed him. Um, you know, and that, that makes things a lot easier. Now, we're going to have to fight another tank here. And I kind of screwed myself going in this corner. Oh, oh I really screwed myself. My keys fell off screen. Come on. Oh. Great. I'm not going to have a good time with this anymore. Blow up. Man. Normally you don't lose your power up so bad, but I kind of got screwed over here and now I got all these enemies. 
And this is actually, this level has a lot more varied gameplay that we're gonna have to find out about here. Now this guy, oh good, I can hit him from here. Good. Gotta blow this up too, and looks like we'll have to jump down the hole. Now this is where things are gonna get a little tricky without the three-way. The three-way was really gonna be helpful. We're gonna have enemies coming at us in all directions. And if you mess up a little bit, you can end up having to try to outrun an enemy that you were trying to turn around and shoot, and you're almost touching. I'm not having a hard time with it this time, but... In the past, I've had times where you're trying to kill guys, and they suddenly... You, you go to shoot them, and you end up shooting down like that, and they're right against you, and all you can do is run away, you don't have time to move your gun. Now, these guys can unfortunately shoot up, so I'm gonna have to... play a little tricky. Oh crap. Oh, you better die fast. I'm out of luck, okay. Can I kill this guy? Okay, not bad. Get this. I get this angle right. I'm trying to get my gun to stay on the angle. I think that's the big part of this game, is just uh, cheaping out the enemies so that they can't do anything about the fact that you exist. Now this thing's going to be really annoying not to kill with the three-way, because... I mean, this one's not going to be that bad, but we're going to have to fight this gear three times. Oh, this floor is supposed to blow up when, uh, there we go. Maybe just blowing up the floor is what you're supposed to do. Because I've always had the three-way here, so... It could be that you're supposed to just blow up the floor. But I never successfully did it because... Or never successfully didn't blow up the floor. Because I would shoot it while I was shooting these guys. Yeah, that seems to be what's going on. A little shimmy on the floor while I blow it up. Either that or it's just a time thing. Oh, come on. I think I didn't jump. This is why a jump button of its own is so important. Because you're trying to aim and shoot at the same time. And you're pressing up. And your guy's not getting up. He's just shooting up on an angle. Because when you get down on the ground, if you press up on an angle, you don't actually stand up. Hmm. There we go. Man. Alright, so this thing is pretty crazy, but it is actually pretty easy to beat. You might think, oh yeah, look, you can get this pattern, no problem. But what you actually want to do, and I almost died there, is get down here, Aim up on that same angle that keeps you from standing up. <laughs> Just go to town on it. I think a lot of the uh, harder sections of this game, they add this in. Now, I might not make it much further. What happened to me last time was I was going down this ladder and I got killed by a guy with a gun. I had the three-way and I still had that happen. I was hoping to get here with one extra heart so that if that happened again, we'd still be good, but... Especially with um, only getting one key in this whole level now because of that off-screen fiasco. That's going to be a little bit troublesome. I'm going to give this guy a lot of birth. There we go. I'm not sure if this is actually the end of the level yet. Probably not. I might have a chance to get a few more keys. Oh god. Oh nice. Okay, good. Got one more key out of it. Two keys. What are we going to pick here? Oh, we're taking the extra life. That is all we can afford. 
Everything else is super expensive. Yep, can't get it. All right, well, we're going into the last level with uh, one extra life and one key. I don't think we're going to beat level three. But we're going to wait for it to load. So another uh, Daddy East game, Heavy Barrel, used a very similar system to this where you collected keys after defeating certain soldiers. Um, yeah, and it even, it even says here on the Wikipedia page they can only be recovered if they don't fall off screen, which clearly is what happened to me, unfortunately. Um, we'd be doing so much better if it wasn't for that. Oh, well. All right, we've made it outside. Oh god, they can fly. What? Oh, come on. I didn't even know what that was. I gotta get back. Oh, come on, I jumped that. Oh well. Anyways, I'm Zerfall. We've been playing Midnight Resistance, and see you on another Sunday.